This podcast is to help parents access and utilize Blackboard, um, which can be found through our North High School website. I highly suggest that since you will be probably using the uh, North High School website over the next four years frequently to save this as one of your favorites. Um, right now I am in Google Chrome, but I know on Internet and Firefox you could set this to, as one of your favorites. So the where you would find Blackboard would be under Students. So I click on Students and um, Blackboard is listed right here. So I would click on Blackboard and another page will pop up. You can also add the um, specific Blackboard Learning website to your favorites as well. The username and password that has been assigned to your student is different than the username and password that was given to you to access their grades. So you are going to have to ask your student for their login and password because um, Blackboard is a safe environment. We do have um, the ability to have discussion boards in there. We want to make sure that um, students are able to have these um, utilize discussion boards and other um, so social media like features um, in a safe environment where just um, any not just anyone can access them but just the students in the class. So currently um, for the sample student you can see um, two courses listed. So the courses are listed here. This student has an Earth Science 200 and they also have a Global Connections class. For this um, reason is that the number of courses listed is going to vary from student to student. Um, Blackboard is not mandatory for teachers to use in District 99. Some teachers use Blackboard as a resource for, for um, students. Other teachers prefer using Google Docs or um, other web-based um, websites, but um, you really need to just take the time to see what um, classes are available on Blackboard. Additionally, Blackboard sites will look different from class to class. So right now I'm going to give you just a sample taste of what the Earth Science Blackboard looks like versus the Global Connections. So on this Earth Science um, blackboard. You um, will see in announcements, all of them have that feature where it's going to have announcements. It could be when a test is coming up or if new information has been loaded. On the left side will be a column. This is where you're going to find the different tabs to be able to access different things. For this one, PowerPoints, this teacher will upload the PowerPoints for their students. So this one has types of graphs, so you would be able to access the notes. Um, they have WebQuest, Quizlet, um, and Quizlet is a great resource as well. Um, it is an online um, website that uh, that allows students to use flashcards and, and take tests on important vocabulary words to use um, to study. Um, contact information for a teacher, and then course information and then documents. So you know we could find the syllabus here. Now let's check out the Global Connections Blackboard site. As you can see this one's a little different. In the middle we have my announcements which is the same on the home page. Um, staff information is listed here. So you know you have the teachers names. This is a co-taught class so you have both teachers um, names. This teacher posts the homework, so if I was to go on here um, every week, they make a list of all the homework that's due. Um, prods, um, they have information for the various projects that they do. There's an online textbook as well, and this is the feature of discussion boards where um, students may go in and be able to um, communicate with their peers and teacher um, in a safe, um, secure environment. Um, but there's just a lot of different um, available options here under courses. 
each August when your student enrolls for a new school year their new courses are, are put up here so this year these are freshman courses Earth Science and Global Connections sophomore year you might see um, US History and Biology and again you might see a, a blackboard for a math class or even um, a language art um, a foreign language class it just depends on if the teachers using it or not um, my organizations if your child is enrolled in a sport or in a club the sponsor or coach may have a, um, a blackboard site to communicate with them as well the last feature I'm going to show to you is the library North High School's library is accessible on Blackboard, so they are able to um, access the different things through our library. Um, there's class links if they're doing a project um, in the library to find. Our databases, so our online journals are located um, on here. They are password protected because it is a subscription. If I was to click onto that right now, it would show us the various um, databases, um, subscriptions that North has, and then the the username and passwords for those. Um, Noodlebib, which is a great resource tool. Um, the online catalog, if you're looking to see if there's a book here, um, and other information. So, thank you for taking the time to learn what Blackboard is about. I do highly suggest if you cannot find something specific or if you have a question please contact the specific content area teacher to learn more information thank you